Hi everyone outside there that is watching BTN TV at this moment. Again, it is Teacher Fred with the lesson, mathematics lesson, as usual, as we have been doing. Uh, for those who have been following us, they know how the program has been moving on. But for those who have not been following us, we would encourage you actually also to subscribe our uh, BTN channels on YouTube and their Facebook accounts and so on. You will access the lessons that you might have missed some time back. However, at this time around, today I am again back in the studio for mathematics lesson as usual. I want us to look at the uh, indirect proportions today. Last time we looked at direct proportions and I hope everyone outside there is now able to work out direct proportions. Today let's look at indirect proportions and we see how we can work them out. For example, let's look at the first example which says five men can dig a plot of land in 20 days. How many men are required working at the same rate to dig the same plot? of land in only two days. Now when we look at this question of ours here, you realize that they have given us a specific number of people. They are five men working at a certain speed. They take 20 days to dig or cultivate a certain plot of land. Then at the same time, they have asked us to uh, how many men are required working at the same rate to dig the same plot of land in only two days. Now let's look at this. When you look at our five men, they took 20 days. We have to identify that. Then from there, we shall also need to identify how many men are required working at the same speed or the same rate, the same efforts that can cultivate or dig the same piece of land in two days. That is what our question requires us to do. So first of all, let's identify the number of men and the number of days that they have given us in the question. When we look at our question, they have said five men can dig a plot of land in 20 days. So we shall first of all identify five men. Five men. How many days are five men taking to complete that plot of land when they are digging it. They have said five men can dig a plot of land in 20 days. It means these five men will take 20 days to cultivate that plot of land. So if they will take 20 days, I'll come and say five men will take 20 days. And this is the same as saying 20 days this is the same as saying 20 days are covered by five men to cultivate the same piece of land. Okay? Five men takes 20 days to cultivate that piece of land. Then at the same time, when we come to the second statement, 20 days are used when five men are cultivating that piece of land or that plot of land. So what does it mean? It means that for people to take 20 days to cultivate that whole plot of land, it requires five men. But let's go back to our question. What does our question require us to do? Uh, the question said five men can dig a plot of land in 20 days, which we have already got here. We have said 20 days will be equivalent to five men. There are five men who will dig that piece of land or that plot of land in a 20 days. But when you continue, they said how many men are required working at the same rate to dig the same piece or plot of land in two days. Now when they talk of the same, they mean these people should be working at the same pace. They are all putting in the same efforts when they are working out or when they are digging this piece of land or this plot of land. All of them should put the same kind of energy, the same amount of energy used by the one person is the same amount of energy which is supposed to be used by another person. So if we consider that, we shall first of all come here, they want us now to find out two days, how many men will dig the same plot in two days. I'll come here and say, one day, 
one day before we go for two days we shall first of all need to identify how many people can still cultivate this plot of land in only one day because right now they have given us 20 days 20 days we need five people but if 20 days we need five people what about in one day now this is what you have to put in your mind first of all when the number of days increase then it means number of people are few but when you find out that people are very many then time will be less in case in case you identify number of people that can work in one day you realize that for us to be in position to find the number of men who can dig that plot of land and finish it within one day we are going to look at this we shall consider what we have been given up here then we say one day eh, will be equivalent to we shall get 20 days which they have already identified for us here equals to five men so i'll say 20 days which they have already given us it is being cultivated by how many people they are five so for only one day it means we shall get 20 days we multiply by the number of men who are cultivating that piece of land so we shall be we shall multiply it by five people and why are we multiplying by 20 we are multiplying by 20 purpose is to determine the number of people that can work in one day remember that it said in 20 days we have this number of men so from there we shall come out and say one day to identify the number of men that can work in only one day we shall have 20 times 5 that will give us 100 and that will be men so when you look at this you realize that when the days are few the number of workers are very many and when the number of workers are very many then the days are few that's why you realize that when you come to five men it will take a lot of uh, a short period of time that will be 20 days but when you come to one person individually if you are only one person how long will you take you realize that uh, when you're one person you will take more than what has been given okay now in 20 days we have realized that five men are required to cultivate that piece of land or that plot of land so for us to be in position to find the number of men that can cultivate the same plot or the same piece of land we shall get first of all we shall need to find out the number of people who are working at the same pace who are putting the same number and uh, who are putting in the same efforts working at the same time that can cultivate and finish that land in one day and we have come to realize that for us to get the number of people who can cultivate or who can dig that piece of land in one day they are supposed to be 100 men and those 100 men they should be putting in the same effort before they can complete that piece of land or that plot of land in one day then let's look at this the question didn't want us to find the number of men that can cultivate or can dig this piece of land or this plot of land in one day no they wanted the question when we look at the question they said five men can dig a plot of land in 20 days how many men are required working at the same red to dig the same plot of land in only two days so we have known one day now we want to find out the number of people who can cultivate the same number uh, who can cultivate, uh, cultivate the same plot in only two days but in one day we know we need 100 men so for us to find the two days which they wanted we shall say finding two days getting the number of people that can cultivate this piece of land in two, uh, in two days only we shall have two days is equal to 100 men now this 100 men we know there are for two days i for one day this 100 men the equivalent to one day but now we want two days we want to dig that piece of land in two days what do you think if 100 
people dig the piece of land in one day. What do you think will happen if we require two days or if we are required to complete the same plot in two days? This is what will happen. It, uh, we shall now look at the relationship between the time and the number of people working. So if in one day there are very many people, it means in two days people will reduce. So we shall say, finding the number of men who are working in two days, we shall get the number of men who are working in one day up here, then we divide by the number of days which are required. So I will divide this by two. And why are we dividing by two? Because we know 100 men can cultivate this piece of land in a one day. But now we want two days. So if I want to dig that same piece of land in two days, we shall get that number of men. We divide them by two. Then from there, I'll just copy my statement and say 100 men. 100 men divide by two. I've just copied this statement and pasted it here. So we are going to divide this out. We shall say by two, one. 10 divided by two, it will give us five. Then zero divided by two, zero. So what do we have? We shall come here and say, therefore, we are now looking at the number of people that can cultivate this piece of land in only two days. And we have come out to realize that in two days, we shall have 100 men. We divide them by the number of days. Then what we shall come out with is the number of men which, who will be required to work in two days. And from there, we shall have 50 men. So I'll come and say, therefore, two, two days requires... Two days requires 15 men. Two days requires 50 men to complete the same plot. So when you look at this relationship, check at first what they have given us. They have given us five men will take 20 days when they are five. Now you look at this, they will take 25 at 20 days then when they are 20 days 20 days will be taken up by five men after there come and look at the relationship of one day and 20 days you realize that people who work in one day they are very many one day takes very many people but when you look at 20 20 days will require very few people after requiring very few people, come and we also compare with the last one. Two days. When you look at two days, they will take a half of the number that people can cultivate in one day. So you look at the relationship. When there are very many days, like 20 days, workers are very few. But when days are very few, workers are very many. One day took... 100 men but only 20 days took five men so two days will also take 50 men after getting your answer get your ruler outside there then underline your answer after underlining we call it our number those who are writing outside there yeah you can try to put in the speed and you finish very fast as we go to the second example okay so I want us to look at the second example. The second example says eight women takes 10 days to sweep the compound. That is when they're in the same compound. There is one compound whereby it requires eight women. And if they are eight, they sweep this, that very compound in 10 days. Now if they sweep it in 10 days, Let's look at the way, uh, what the question needs us to do. So they are telling us that, or they are asking us, how many women are needed to sweep the same compound or to sweep the compound in only five days? So when you look at this, you realize that when there are eight women, they will take 10 days. That is when they are eight. What about when 
when the number of days reduces, what will happen? Because if there are eight and they are taking ten, then for when you compare ten days with the five days, it means days are reducing. And as days reduces, just expect the number of workers to increase. But if the number of workers increases, then the number of days or time goes down, reduces. So the first thing we need to do here, we shall have to identify, we shall have to identify the number of women as eight, eight women. Eight women will take how long? to sweep this compound they are talking of because they have told us that eight women takes 10 days to sweep the compound if they are eight but at the same time they are asking us to find the number of women who are required or needed to sweep the same compound in only five days so what we shall need to do first of all is to identify what they have given us in the statement we shall say eight women takes 10 days. So I'll say ten, uh, eight women takes 10 days. According to the question, that's what they have told us or what they have given us. They have given us eight women takes 10 days to sweep that compound. Now, when we continue with the question, the question is asking us how many women are required or needed to sweep the same compound or the compound in five days days only so when you look at the period here the period has been reduced from 10 days it has gone back to five days remember when there are eight people they take 10 days but now at this time they have given us the number of days and they have not told us the number of workers who are required to complete that piece of land uh, that piece of work in a, set, a specific period of five days. So we are required to find out the number of women who are required to work in five days and complete the same compound. So the first thing we shall need to do here, I'll come and say 10 days, since they want us to find the number of women, I'll begin with the days which they have given us. I'll say 10 days, 10 days requires how many workers? If you want to complete this piece of land or this piece of work that is sweeping the compound, if you want to complete it within 10 days, assume you are outside there and you are the proprietor or you are the boss and you have this, uh, this compound and you need people to come and work in this compound of yours. You want them to come and sweep for you. What are you supposed to consider? And if in the case you want your compound to be swept uh, to be swept in 10 days, if you need your compound to be swept in 10 days, you have to employ how many workers? You have to employ 80 women. So eight women, eight women will complete sweeping your compound within 10 days. But now the situation comes in. It happens that you don't want your compound to take so long, up to 10 days. You want it to be reduced to some days. Now, if you don't want these people to work for 10 days, if you want your work or your compound to be swept in only five days, then it means you'll have to multiply or you'll have to add the number of workers to the ones you are having such that they can complete the same work in the specific time you want. For example here, we shall first of all come and say, since they want five days, I will say, if 10 days, it will give us eight women. Then what about five days? If 10 days is giving us eight women, what about five days? Because five days is what has been asked for in the question, how many women are needed to sweep the compound in only five days? It means this time around, you need to add on employers. You have to employ uh, to add on employees. You have to add on more, such that you can come out with your work done in a short period of time. When you compare five days and ten days, you realize that five days are less than. 
10 days. So if they are less than 10 days, it means you need more workers before your work is completed within the period of five days. Now, at this time, we don't know what is there. We don't know the number of workers or women that are required to complete the same work in five days only. So what we shall need to do, we shall first of all identify in case you want your work or your compound to be swept in only one day, how many workers do you need? After identifying the numbers of workers that you are required to employ, such that they can clear your compound or sweep your compound within one day, then we shall use that very number of people to determine the number of workers who are required or needed to complete the same work in five days. So, before we go far, let's first of all come and identify one day. If 10 days gives us this women, then five days, we don't know. So, we shall need first of all to identify one day. How many people are required to do the same work in one day? How many people are required to do the same work in one day? In case you want your compound to be swept in only one day. Remember when there are eight people, they will sweep until 10 days elapse. But if, 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 if you want people to work or to clear your compound or to sweep your compound in only one day, what will happen? Automatically what will happen, the number of workers will have to increase. When you have very many workers, then they do work very fast and everything gets done. But if you have very few workers and you have a lot of work, then it means you'll take a lot of, or very many days to complete that work. But at this time here, you are looking at this. We have workers, that is eight of them. They are working in 10 days to complete the compound, meaning that for us to determine the number of workers who will work in only five days to complete this compound, we shall first of all identify the number of workers that will work in one day. After identifying the number of workers who will work in one day, then we shall be in position to determine the number of workers who will work in five days. And for us to find out the number of workers that are working in one day, we shall get 10 times 8. We shall get the number of days, that is 10, times the number of workers, how many are they? They are eight women. And this gives us eight uh, women. Where are these eight women coming from? What are we trying to mean? We are saying, in case you want to have your work done, if you want your compound to be swept in only one day, you will need eight uh, women. That is one day. Now you want your compound to be swept completely from morning up to evening. Everything is done. You will require eight women. But in case you don't find all the eight women to sweep your compound, then you sit, you say, no, I need my compound to be swept in only five days. So what will happen if you want your compound to be swept in five days is what we want to know. Remember, we have already known when you want it to be done in one day, you'll have eight women. Eight eh? women. Now, if you want it to be done in five days, it means you'll get the number of workers, and they are eight, eh? divided by the number of the days you want your worker to be done. Because they have, said, they have talked of five days. So we shall divide... The number, uh, the number of workers by the number of days they are supposed to spend when they are doing that eh, work. So since they are five, we shall say five days, five days. We are now, this is the work that can be done by eight women in one day. But now we want to find how many women do you need to have such that they can do the same piece of work in five days.
So I will get the number of workers who are working in one day. That is eight eh, women. These are eight eh, women. These are eight eh, women. This is the number of women working in only one day. But you want your work to be done in five days. So we shall get 80 divided by 5. So you are distributing that work, that piece of work that you are having, to people who are supposed to work. We don't know how many people are there. So by doing all this, we are going to come out with the number of people that are required to work in five days days so from there i'll say by five one eight divided by five how many groups of five are in eight it is only one group so if it is one group i write it here and if i remove one group of five from eight what am i going to remain with i'm going to remain with three and this three i will write it here to come out with 30. So if I have 30 here, then I will say 30 divided by 5. This will give me 6. So if we have come out with the 6, what is the next step? We shall say one day it will take 10 times 8. Then it will give us 8 women. But 5 days, for you to get 5 days, we shall have 8 women who are working in only one day. Then we divide by the number of days you want them to work at. So I'll just divide by five, and then finally I'll come with 16 women. So I'll come and say, therefore, if I need my work to be done in five days, I'll say, if I need my work to be done in five days, in five days, if I need my work to be done in five days, what will happen? I'll have five days, requires or need requires 16 women so this is what is required in 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 five days you'll need to have 16 women such so that they can complete for you your piece of work in five days only then after getting this i will get my ruler and underline my work use a ruler outside there so let's compare something here then you come to understand what i'm meaning uh this is what i'm trying to mean when you have eight when you have 10 days 10 days we shall have how many people working in 10 days we shall have eight of them then from there, let's look at one day. If you want to have only one day, one day, how many people do you need? You need to have eight women. You need to have eight women. Okay? When you, 10 days, you need to have eight of them. One day, you need to have eight women. Then let's come down here. Five days. Five days. What are you supposed to have? Five days, you are supposed to have 16 women. 16 women. In, in 16 women. So I want us to look at this relationship between time and the number of workers. The relationship between time and number of workers, when you look at the first one here, the first statement here, this, this is not part of this, but I'm just explaining it for, purpose, uh, for the purpose of understanding. When you look at this statement, I want us to look at the relationship here. When you look at the number of, uh, of days here, we have 10, we have 1, we have 5. When you look at the number of days, and you have the number of workers, you realize that many days were 10. Were 10. They were very many. They were 10. But when you come to the number of workers, there are few. So the more the time is given, the less number of workers are required. So if you want people to work for too long, for very many days, 
you'll have to give uh, you'll have to employ very few people employ very few people but if you want what you have your work to be done in only one day you need to employ very many people such that they can clear the piece of work you are having in one day it's just like when you're outside there when they talk about building a house if you want your house to be built in a short period of time you will have very many workers but if you have only one person building your house can that one person complete a house in one day it is impossible but if there are 100 people it is possible 100 people can complete a house in one day if it is a small house so when workers are very many the number of days are few but when number of, of uh, when number of days are few then workers are supposed to be very many in one day they will be very many if you want your piece of work to be done in only one day workers will, must be more than what you expect but when you look at this when you look at 10 days and 5 days 10 days we took how many women they are 8 but when you look at five days they are 16 and when you look at 10 and 5 5 is a half of all 5 is a half of 10 so if 5 is a half of 10 and the 10 is taking 8 then it means the number of workers here will be very many will be multiplied by 2 also okay so many days few workers few days many workers Okay? That's what you have to put in your brain. You have to understand that when you want your work to be done in a short period of time, workers must be very many. And if you want your work to take a long time, when they're still doing it for some good time, then you'll have very few workers. Uh -huh. So as we summarize with the second example, as we summarize with this second example, let's switch on to the example three and we see what we shall have to look at. So I want us to continue with the example three. Uh, example three says three girls gonna do a piece of work in six hours. How long will nine girls how long will nine girls take to do the same piece of work? So when we look at this question and in relationship to the first two examples, there is a certain difference that you can identify. Here they have given you three girls doing the same piece of work at how, uh, how long do they take? They take 60 hours. So we shall first of all need to identify. We shall identify, we say three girls, when they are three girls, how long do they take to do the same piece of land? or the same piece of work if they are doing something these three girls will take three or uh, six hours doing a certain piece of work we don't know which kind of work it may be sweeping it may be digging it may be building it may be washing and so on we don't know which kind of work were they exactly doing but when they are three of them they can do that piece of work in how many hours six hours so let's look at this in daily life. Let's bring this at home and we look at it. Uh, when you're at home, you'll find out that when you are three girls in the family and you want to go for washing, if you're going to wash the clothes from home, you realize that when you are three girls in the home and washing your clothes, all of them for your br young brothers, the younger br uh, sisters, your mother, your grandfather, and so on. If you collect all the clothes in the house and you are required to wash them, you realize that when you are three girls, it will take you six hours. You will wash, 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 wash from seven up to noon. That is when you are three girls while washing. You will wash for six hours. Now they are saying, how long will it take if you are now nine? First of all, look at this. If you are only three, you will wash for how long? Six hours. What about when you are nine? Do you think time will go up or you will wash in a very short period of time? So you have to look at that first of all. You realize that when you are very many, you will not wash 
for too long. But if it happens that you are very few, you'll wash for very many hours because you'll be doing a lot of work. You'll be required to wash a lot of clothes. But when you are very many, everyone will be washing few clothes. So if you're washing very few clothes, it means you'll need to take a lot of time. When you are washing very few, you'll finish within a short period of time. So from there, we shall come and identify the time taken by three girls when they are doing that piece of work. And that is 60 hours. 60 hours. If they are three, they will take six hours. What about if it's only one person? We need to identify that also. If there are three girls, they will take three hours. What about if it's one person? Do you think the number of hours will increase or, they will, or it will come down? When they are three, they are using six hours. What about when it is only one person? We want to identify the number of hours that one person can use to do that piece of work alone. Let's now come to this, just like I've said it earlier from home. You are at home, and at, at home, you are three girls at first. Then they give you clothes to wash them. You wash them. When you are three, you'll use six hours. What about if you was two sisters leave you to wash alone? If you are now only one person washing, do you think you will take too much time or you will take less? Since you are one person, you will take a lot of time. You take a lot of time because you are only one. But when you are many, you will take quite a short period of time. Because as this one is washing a shirt, you're also washing a shirt, another one is also washing a shirt. Meaning that at the same pace you are doing, you are washing three shirts at a go. But if you are the only one person washing, you will have to finish this one. You come, you wash another one, you come and wash another one. It means you take a lot of time before you can finish only three shirts. But when you are three people, you will be, everyone will be washing one, one, one. Then you will finish it very fast. So we shall come here and say, if three girls takes the six hours then what about one girl according to what I've explained every three girls takes the six hours then what about one girl in actual sense just know that now the number of hours will increase this one person will take very many hours because he's washing alone but if they were three they will take only six hours but now since it's only one person Time has to multiply or it has to go up, it has to raise. So we shall say one girl will be equal to if they were three, they could take how long? They could take six. So we shall say three times six. Now we are finding the number of hours that one girl alone can use to complete the same work that was done or could be done by three girls. So that will come uh, to three times six, it will give us 18. And 18 will be hours. 18 hours. This will be 18 hours. So when you are one person, you will take a lot of time. You will have to take 18 hours. But when you were three, you were supposed to use only six hours. Now, let's go back to our question and we see what does it require us to do. They are saying uh, three girls can do a piece of work in six hours. How long will nine girls take to do the same piece of work? So I want us to find out the number of girls who are required to do the same piece of work, just nine of them, how long will they use the number of hours that are required to be used by nine people to do this work that this one girl is doing in 18 hours? So we shall say, we know one person. Now we shall come here and say, nine girls, nine, nine girls, nine girls will be equivalent to if we have one 
piece of land. Let's assume this is our piece of land. And this one piece of land, when it is only one person working in it, takes how many hours? Will take 18 hours, one person. So if one person is taking 18 hours to complete all this, all this piece of land, all this, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, that is 12. I want us to look at this. So when you look at this, it is one plot of land, it is only one. Now if it is one, how many hours are you going to use? If it is only one person, this is now one person. This is one person. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So those are 18 hours. Each box here is representing an hour. So when you are one girl, like you are digging this piece of land, you realize that if this is a piece of land, the whole of it, one day you uh, one hour you will dig only this part. Another hour here, another hour, another hour, another hour, another hour, until you complete the whole piece of land. By the time you reach here, you would have used, you must have used 18 hours. But now, for us in this case here, they are 90 people. How many are they? Uh, how many hours are they going to use? Remember, in one hour, if you are eighteen people, uh, you are nine people. In one hour, the time one person stands here, another one 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 here. Another one here. Huh? You realize that by the time this one completes here, this one has also completed in the same hour, this one is also completing in the same hour, this one is also completing in the same hour, this one is also completing in the same hour, that very one hour, this one is also completing, this one is also completing, this one is also completing. Those are nine people. This is one person, two, three, four, five, six people, seven, eight, nine. Those are now nine people. Just now one hour. Everything is done here. Now, when you check out what is remaining, we go to the second hour. When we go to the second hour, another person will stand here, the one who was here. The first person was here. The second was here. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. The seventh person, the eighth, the ninth. Then, that is one hour. People cultivate all this part of land. Then we begin again with the remaining on the second hour. We shall say another second hour. One person who was here will be here. That is another second hour. This second person will be here. Third here. Fourth here. Fifth here. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. So let's look at this. You realize that the first hour they duck here. Then the second hour, the person who was here will be cultivating another. Uh, another portion. The second person will also on another one. The third one on another one. So you realize that in the second hour, this one will also would have been completed. Remember from here up to here, all this is only one hour. They have dug this in one hour. Okay? Then when you come to the second part, from here up to here, passing down here, all this would also be dug in one hour hour. So you realize that the work which would take one person 18, uh, 18 days, it will take, on, I mean 18 hours, it will take only two hours for nine people. According to what you have seen here. So this is not part of what we are doing, but it's just a matter of explaining what is supposed to be done for easy understanding. Then we come back to nine girls here. We shall say for us to identify hours that nine girls will use, we shall come to 18 hours that are used by one person, then we divide by nine girls. Because this work is now going to be shared among the nine people. So we shall say by nine, one. 18 by nine, two. So we shall say there are four, nine girls, nine girls will take only two hours. 
so according to what we have done, according to the steps that we've followed, from here up to here, nine girls will take two hours. When you check out this, you can also compare from here. You say three girls, three girls will take how long? Six hours. Then we come and say one girl will take how long? We shall say one, we shall say one girl, one girl will take 18 hours. That is one girl will take 18 hours. Then at nine girls, nine girls will take two hours. So let's look at this just like the way I was explaining the first step. I want us to look at the second step also here. When you have three girls, they will cover your work within six hours. But when you have one, time will increase. Meaning that when you have few workers, time is more. But when you check here, when you have nine girls, it means there are very many workers now. The number of hours reduces. So the more number of workers, the less number of hours. The more number of hours, the less number of workers. It is just the vice versa. So meanwhile, for those who have just joined us, have just switched on their TVs, please, in case you feel like maybe you have missed a step, simply what you do, just subscribe to uh, BTN channels, uh, check on their Twitter accounts, Instagrams, Facebooks, and so on. You'll access the same piece of work, and the work has been delivered by Teacher Fred for those who have been following us. And as I wind up, let me try to get some exercise, or oh, I put for you some exercise. Whoever is outside there who is a candidate, you can also take time and work it out. I hope you have your own separate book apart from the books that you are using at your school. And immediately by the time when school is open, when you get back to school, please carry your book with your work that you've done. Take it to your mathematics teacher at your school to help you and guide you where you have gone wrong or if everything has gone well. That is right. It is what we admire. But at the same time, as I wind up, I would also take this initiative to recognize the staff of BTN TV that has really sponsored this program and the part of Wisdom Center has also been involved in this program that is helping our candidates outside there. So let's switch to exercise. So as we wind up, let's look at the activity. Activity number one says, five boys can sweep the classroom in only 15 minutes. How many boys are required to sweep the, class, the same classroom in only seven minutes? So they want you to find out the number of boys that can sweep this very classroom within the seven minutes. But remember, five of them sweeps it for 15 minutes. Then let's come to the second number. The second activity says 12 girls takes 24 hours to wash plates. How many plates will be washed in 30 hours? How many plates will be washed in 30 hours. They have told you already 12 girls will take this. So if 12 girls takes this number of hours, then how many plates will be washed in this number of hours? So you have to look at this. You know 12 hours, I mean 12 girls will take 24 hours to wash these plates. At the same time, they have said how many plates will be washed in 24 hours. So you need to work out that. Then concerning this work that we have been having all this lesson, in case you have just joined us late, and you would wish maybe there is something that you've not understood well, please, I would refer you to my personal WhatsApp number. Just send a message in WhatsApp, then I'll reply you. If you don't have WhatsApp, then you can just send a direct message and you'll be replied. Please don't call. As I went up with the lesson, I would also finally send my uh, recognition to the BTN staff for the sponsorship that it has put in this program and it together or in touch with the Wisdom Center School for the program that is running to help our candidates outside the school there. 
Meanwhile, I wish you the best as we stay home. We follow the government directives. We hope everything will get better. Stay blessed.